Hey all, I just got back from the gym, which is perfect because working out is actually what I want to talk about today. I, I have worked out for a really, really long time. I love everything about the gym and I know not everyone is like that. And maybe I'm not a gym rat, maybe I'm a gym mouse, I don't know, but I, um, I do it for the energy I get from it. I do it for the brain chemistry. It helps um, regulate my mood. <clears throat> I like to feel strong. I do it so I can go out and play afterwards and just be strong in my life. And I just love the smell of the gym. Um, I, I love seeing the people there. I just love the whole gym experience. And <clears throat> two things yesterday that kind of coalesced to create this idea for what I wanted to talk about today. Um, one of them is that a, is, is a video that I posted yesterday, reposted, not my video, um, on Facebook, which I will link down below, which explains really clearly and really thoroughly and really well the <clears throat> what happens um, in childhood when two of our non-negotiable needs, which are attachment and authenticity, are in conflict, we will always give up our authenticity um, for attachment to our parents because if we're not attached to our parents, we basically don't survive. So with many of us growing up, because our parents didn't understand um, we give up our authenticity. And so what happens is we become detached from ourselves, detached from our bodies, detached from our gut feelings, and we are no longer in the present moment. And we just develop this habit of struggling with who we are in our lives and just being present to actually experience our lives. And I find that Whatever I'm writing about or talking about, all of my books, um, all of my blog posts, pretty much every video is about reconnection. And I think I've mentioned this before, but while I have always been talking about reconnection, I was also at least partially aware that I didn't know holistically what it meant to reconnect. And this video talks about it very clearly and very simply. And I've been doing a lot of work with that and, you know, have, have since in the past fairly recent while been really learning about what true reconnection means. Uh, I think initially I had an idea that reconnection meant finding out truly who you are by sort of eliminating what you're not in a spiritual sense. And um, there's some truth in that, and some of that's very helpful, but also there's a huge part of it that is about reconnection to your body. Your body is always in the present moment. It's always in your experience, and it's always guiding you with your gut feelings. Um, obviously, sometimes we can have traumatic experiences that, that create fears or phobias, those are not what I'm talking about here. Um, and in general, at least for me, I can tell the difference between a um, fight, flight, or freeze response and a true gut feeling of this is not for me or move to a safer place, that kind of thing. So just reconnecting in with your body and what it's telling you in the present moment, what um, going even beyond what am I feeling as far as labeling the feelings and going to what actual physical sensations am I having in my body and really being with those and knowing those as truth in the body and uh, acting and living from there is actually true reconnection and true authenticity and is going to bring us back into alignment and back into connection with um, our non-negotiable needs. So I highly recommend watching the video that I will link down below. The second thing that coalesced for me with that is this little book by my friend Chip Conrad, who I love dearly. And I'm so bummed, Chip, if you see this, that we didn't end up connecting when you were here, but for sure next time. Um, he has written this book called More Inclined Toward Adventure, which is a genius title. 
and the more you read the book, the more you will realize why it's named that. I will um, have the link below on how to get this book too. It's very small in all ways, but it's super powerful. And I'm not all the way through it yet. I almost am, but it already has me completely rethinking my uh, movement practice, my workout. And it also brought into focus for me something really super important and amazing, which is that, <clears throat> let me see if I can find the page. Um, Chip says, adults need help connecting with themselves and with their surroundings. Too many adults are pretty broken. Um, wow. <laughs> couldn't say anything more true than those two sentences and <clears throat> and the fact that movement is actually a way to our to connect with ourselves to connect back in with that authenticity of our experience in the moment um, is a whole new way of looking at working out at least for me I know I love all the things about working out that that I listed at the beginning of the video um, I also love going out into nature. I love movement. I love running with my daughter. I love being able to do all of that stuff because of my training. <clears throat> um, but this aspect of movement and even just working out or training, actually reconnecting us with our true selves and with the present moment because the body is, again, always in the present moment and with the authenticity of our lives is a really, really important reason that you might want to look at um, your movement practice. Uh, he quotes um, John O'Donohue in here, who says, our bodies know that they belong. It's our minds that makes make our lives so homeless. I thought that was beautiful. Chip also quoted me in here, which was totally a surprise. He asked me if he could, and I, I guess I just didn't remember what he was using the quote for, but I ran into that, and so that was really that was really fun. Um, but that quote, let me read it again because I talked over it. Our bodies know they belong. It's our minds that make our lives so homeless. How true, and that is the practice of coming out of our minds and reconnecting back in with what's actually happening in the moment, really living our lives and being in that space of authenticity. Have a great day.